Hey, Floss Two, Betsy Clager here, episode number four. It is April 8th, 2021. It's a Thursday. Tried to do it on hump day because it's my favorite day of the week, besides Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Um, <laughs> I guess it's not my favorite day then. Um, but I'm back. It is um, a beautiful day here in Colorado, and Hubby went out to get his second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. I get my second dose a week from tomorrow, so we're very excited about that news. Um, but in the meantime, even if you're vaccinated, please remember to wear your mask when you're outside with other people. I mean, not outside, outside, but if you are going to a store, you're going out of the house, let's all still be very careful. Um, we're not over this yet. We're getting close. A lot of people are getting vaccinated, but uh, we want to be very mindful that we don't want to go back to where we were, especially with the variants that are coming out with COVID. We want to do this right. So let's all pull together. We can do it. So today is, like I said, it's a beautiful day in Colorado and I'm taking a break in my work day. I got all duded up. I don't like, I don't like my arm flaps, but anyway, <laughs> I got all dressed up. I had a meeting this morning and then I had a deposition and I thought, why not do a floss tube? Because it's been two weeks, two weeks in one day. And I am going to show you a couple of old finished objects, my works in progress and some plans. And I'm also going to show you a quilt that I made years ago um, because, oh, and Hall, how could I forget Hall? Um, and my nails don't really go with my shirt, but, and I clash with, actually my shirt goes with the wall, but my nails clash with my shirt. But you know, I can't be perfect every day, people. You just have to take me as you find me. Um, so one thing I can't believe I haven't told you all is when Max, my son, was little, and I did cross stitch back in the 90s when he was a little boy, and he used to call it, crotch stitch. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so I still, every once in a while, I'll say I'm working on my crotch stitch. So that's a my son cute story of the day. It doesn't involve his poop. How do you like that? Um, so I hope you all are doing well. I want to thank you all who have subscribed to my channel and have given me a thumbs up. And those who have left lovely comments that just bring so much joy to me when I read them. I, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm, I'm gobsmacked at all the love. I'm telling you. Thank you. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Then you'll get notification of when I post a new video. And who doesn't want a notification when I post a new video? Who? Who on the planet doesn't want that? Hmm, something to think about. All right, let's start with, I'm gonna start with finished objects. This is not something that I finished this past two weeks, but these are older objects that I think one of them I showed in my old videos, Bird Stitcher, and then one um, I haven't shown anywhere, except maybe on Instagram when I finished it, but I did finish it in 2020. So. Why don't I stop gabbing about them and show them to you. This first one is my birthstone is the coffee bean by Heartstring Samplery, Beth Twist. Isn't it cute? I had it professionally framed and these little doohickeys here kind of look like coffee beans or so I thought, or so the framer thought. <laughs> But I love this. This hangs in our bedroom. I don't, ultimately, you all know this. Well, if you are new here, you don't know. But we're going to be undergoing some projects in our house to repaint, to do some renovations and so forth. So once we figure out where everything's going to go, I'll hang this in the appropriate place. Somewhere near the kitchen, maybe. I don't know. But isn't that cute? I used um, the called floor. Um, flosses and it looks like it's on an even weave. My guess would be 32 or 28, but I like it. I probably should have put a fabric behind it for the framer, but you know, what are you going to do? 
So that's number one. And the second piece that I finished in 2020, I love this pattern. This is by the Blue Flower, Janine McGowan, and it's Quilting Bee. And I used everything called for. With the exception, I ran out of one of the colors and so I substituted something else, but I don't remember what, what it was and I don't think you can really tell. And I have this hanging in the hallway. This frame I found somewhere online. I think it was an Etsy shop and it wasn't too bad. And I framed it myself and it, yeah, I almost didn't frame, use this frame, but you know, I think it matches up nicely. It, it doesn't cover the pattern. It just abuts it. But here you can see there's a little bit of space. It could, it could be better, but you're looking at the B, so who cares about what's going on at the frame, right? I love this pattern. It was so fun working on it. I just, I loved it. Highly recommend. All right, so that's finished object number two. And I'm gonna, since I'm showing finished objects, I'm gonna show you um, an old quilt when I was back in my quilting phase. Um, back in the early 2000s, I think it was, yeah, I was knitting like a fiend and I would get ulnar nerve issues. So I stopped knitting for a year and a half and I picked up quilting. So I did that for about a year and a half. And this is one of the quilts I made. And I know it looks like a baby quilt, but whoops, I liked it so much. It's, um, I'm sure it was a fabric line of some sort, but isn't it pretty? And yes, I did all of the machine quilting free motion by myself on my machine. I had no idea what I was doing, <laughs> but I'm kind of proud of it. I love the fabric. It's kind of like a 1920s vibe to it. Anyway, very pastel -y, which is not, not a color palette I usually do, but we have it downstairs. Hamilton likes to sleep on it. And if you don't know who Hamilton is, you need to go and watch my first episode. So it's big. It's a big one. <sighs> I'm not going to put it on my lap here because I'm too, too warm. That's what happens. Big 50s, you get hot. There's a lot that happens to your body when you're a woman in your 50s or 40s even that they don't tell you about. At least my mother never told me about. And so for all you women in your 20s and 30s and 40s even, if you want to know what happens during menopause and after, send me a DM. I will not publicize it here, but there are changes that happen that no one ever told you you were going to go through. And I think it's time we let the secrets out. But that's for another day. All right, so that's it for um, finished objects. Let's talk about my WIPS, which stands for Works in Progress. And for that, I consult my handy dandy book of days and we go to oh my goodness all right so the last time I floss did a floss tube was March 24th so this is what I've been working on since March 24th and the first one I'm gonna start with I was just working on it yesterday this is Anne got 1848 and I'm stitching it on 46 count linen, uh, antique white. Wait, did I lie? No, I didn't. 46 count, antique white. Oh, there's my little needle minder, little kitty. Um, I'm using uh, a Verisois. No, I'm, I said it wrong last time. It's Soie de Gé. It's the name. What's the name of the? No. The name of the company is Averasois. That's it. 
a Vera Soie, and then they make Soie de Jay and 103. This is the 103. I got it wrong last time, I'm sorry. So I had gotten up to here, and so I've just done this part of the border. And here's my little orc catcher from Allison Rosen is a crafty girl. I love this. I absolutely love this. And I need my headgear to stitch on it, but um, I have it on my, my easy scroll frame. And that's Anne God. Oh, maybe you want to see the chart. Or maybe I'll just make you guess what it's going to look like. I would never do that to you. Never. Where is it? I just had it. I swear to you. I just had it. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Hold on. Let me go get it. Okay. I'm back. This is Ann God 1848. And this is by Needlework Press, a reproduction sampler. The Needlework Attic in Phoenix is doing the uh, stitch along for this. And that's where I ordered my chart, my fabric. No, I used different, I got different fabric, um, but the silks. So that's Anne Got 1848. And I'm going to continue to work on that in the next two weeks in my rotation. To the extent that I have a rotation, my rotation is... What do I feel like working on today? <laughs> and then that's what I work on. All right. And goes over there. Got to get my book of days. I have, I try different setups each time and I'm still reaching, grabbing over here and whatnot. The next project I worked on was the Feathered Whisperers by Barbara Anna Designs. And this I'm doing with Nikki Noodles as a stitch along. And this looks like her cat Frosty, but I'm gonna rechart it and to look like Hamilton. And I started this uh, right before my last floss tube, but I worked on it again the last two weeks because I went on this whole thing about how, oh, I'm not going to do the border. The border's not on here. It's a, it's a wide thing of berries that I, Nikki's not doing it either. We're just not doing the border. But guess who started doing the border? And, I, and then I realized, where's this on the pattern? <laughs> so I spent at least two days doing this, which is lovely, but it's not going to be on my finished piece. Um, so here... is what I've gotten done. This is the, the cat bed, and then the little platform where the, the deer will be. And I'm using DMC. I am using Platinum by Zweigert, 40 count. Isn't it? I know I'm a silk enthusiast, but I really do enjoy working with the DMC too. DMC also. Yes, I don't iron. And somebody made a really rude comment about how awful my video was. I think she said it was terrible and that I didn't iron. And I replied, thanks for the constructive criticism. Have a nice day. And then she deleted the comment. <laughs> I guess I wasn't mean enough in my reply. And you know what? I love constructive criticism. My first video I made, someone said, you know, you're a little too close to the camera. We can't see the projects. That was lovely. I took it to heart. I changed my setup. But you don't have to tell me I'm terrible. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad that there are people like that. Okay. If you've had too much of the fancy lady stitching, because that's what Colleen says, I'm a fancy lady stitcher. This is my next work in progress. Actually, was it a new start? I think it was a new start. Let's look at the book of days and find out, shall we? 
April 1st. It was my April 1st start. Girl monkey on a toilet. You know it, you love it. So I hadn't shown it to my husband until the other night I was working on it. Let's see, when was I working on it? Oh, I was working on it Friday night, the second, because I started on the first and I was working on the second also. And I showed it to my husband and he just, he made a face. Let's just say that. Scotty made a face. There's my girl monkey on a toilet. I'm not doing the background either. Colleen isn't doing it. So I'm not gonna do it either. Isn't she pretty? And this is how far I got. I have no idea what part of the pattern it is. It's some part of her dress. And it's a 16 count Ada called for DMC, two strands. Oh, the other one, by the way, the um, Barbara Anna, that was one strand over two. Um, okay, so here's the verdict, because this is my first full coverage. I was a full coverage virgin until April 1st. It's addicting. It is addicting. I try to do, you know, the little 10 squares and I go by that and then I'm like, no, I just want to do this color over here. And I actually enjoy it. And I was looking at other full coverage charts online. I thought, no, I'm not going to buy any others. Let's just focus on this one. And here's the verdict though on what it does to me physically. I have really bad arthritis right here in each thumb, of course. Um, and I find that maybe it's because I'm focusing so much on the full coverage, or maybe it's the two strands of uh, floss, maybe it's the Ada, I don't know, but I noticed that my arthritis was really bothering me, um, the, especially the second night after working on this. So I think slow and steady wins the day is gonna be the um, motto, my motto for Girl Monkey on a Toilet, excuse me. Yes, I'm sneaking in a Diet Coke. No kidney stones yet, Aquawood. Anyway, so uh, thanks for indulging me for those of you who are also fancy lady stitchers. Um, you know, life should be fun and silly and this is part of my silly stitching that I think is gonna be lovely. Um, but I will keep you all posted on the arthritis. Usually my arthritis is not bothered by my stitching. Um, you saw the frame I had, so I don't really have to hold my Q-snap. I can do it freehand, not freehanded, but I don't have to hold with this hand. If I have to hold a Q-snap too much, then it bothers my arthritis. But this I had on the on the easy stand and it just bothered my right, my right hand. So I will keep you posted. I might have to just do that intermittently. We will see. Let me move. All right. This is a new start. I couldn't wait. I was going to wait and start it with my friend Melissa, who's in Idaho, not Iowa, like I said in the first video. One of those I states. Melissa, starless stitcher on Instagram. Look at in my stories because I tagged her. Just finished. Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Sampler. Oh, to die for. She and I were going to start this next chart project together, but she wanted to finish that first. She hadn't finished it as of this past weekend, which was, when did I start this one? This was Sunday. No, yes, Sunday the 4th. I texted her, I sent her a message. I said, Melissa, do you mind if I start this before you finish? Death by Cross Stitch, because I'm just having a crappy kind of day. <laughs> She's like, go ahead, start it. But Melissa, I expect you to start this now that you finished Death by Cross Stitch. You finished it and you haven't died. So it's not Death by Cross Stitch. Um, okay. A Dutch Sampler by Kathy Barrick. This was a net, um, network. <sighs> Needlework Expo 2021 release. Look at that, this is Havana. <clears throat> it's the old weeks, I have the old weeks um, 
Dye Works Havana, which isn't bothering me. It's 40 count and it really isn't bothering me. And I am using the called for NPI silks. You ready to see? I love this. gorgeous I'm so proud it's just a little start oh I love it I love it I did not have all the NPIs and so to, according to my UPS delivery thing USPS delivery <clears throat> thing in the email today the rest of them are coming so um, once I get them all I will show you all of the the NPI silks, but just reminding you, this is, oh my gosh, let's not hold anything upside down today. This is what I just finished. So let's see how this white part goes. I don't know. I don't know how I'll suffer through that, but the blue, the blues in this just knocked me out. Knocked me off my axis, I tell you. Okay, this next, work in progress. <clears throat> I have to have a talk with you, Jacob. Modern folk embroidery Jacob, the most brilliant designer, wonderful person, and he's really, really funny, which is probably the most important thing to me is whether he's funny or not. But Jacob, Jacob, I think you have put a curse on this project for me. And I don't know what I've done to you, to deserve it, but I'm not gonna give in. No, no. You thought you could knock me down two times. Third time's a charm, right? This is the third time I've started this. First time, I didn't like the linen or the, it was mushroom Lugana. Second time, I didn't like the sulky that I was using and I didn't have enough room on my 32 count linen. So now I'm gonna start on 40 count. Right? 40 count linen, 40 count light mocha linen to be precise. And I did the stitch count and I thought, okay, two and a half inches, two inches on each side, I can start. I usually start designs in the middle, but you know, this is, let me show you the chart. It's not upside down. The fruit of plenty this is it so you have to start in the upper left corner because it's a monthly you know january february march i've gotten april but i didn't open it yet so i don't know which where april is i haven't opened it yet because i'm not even close to there but um so two and a half inches do i get out a ruler <laughs> no that would be that would be insane to actually measure my border So I put it on a Q-snap and you think, oh, okay, well, I could put it on a Q-snap and see how much is left. And that's two inches. Does this look like two inches to you? Because it's not. <clears throat> anyway, I love this. I absolutely love it. And I pulled it off the Q-snap to start the February block. Even though I'm not finished with January, I thought, well, I'll just... Take it off the cute snap. And I think, uh-oh, I wonder if I'm going to have enough room. So last Sunday, Sunday, I decided to stitch all the way across to see, am I going to make it or am I going to have to start this again for the fourth time? It's DMC. I'll show you the colors in a minute. DMC, one strand over two on this 40 count. And this is where I got to. <laughs> okay, I made it, but barely. It's my own fault. I should have measured two inches. It's like here, not here. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. So this is the end. <laughs> Each time I'm doing a square, 
I check, okay, how much is left? How much? Like it's gonna make a difference. Like how fast I go is going to make the fabric grow. So I was relieved that it looks like barely an inch. <laughs> I'm not giving in, I'm going to do it. And I was relieved because it, honestly, if I had gotten here and there wasn't any more, I, I don't know what I would have done. Jacob, you would have heard me screaming all the way in Denmark. You're not in Denmark. <sighs> He's Dutch. Why do I confuse Denmark and the Netherlands? I need to go back to geography. It's like um, Whistle Stop, Jennifer. I always thought she lived in Kentucky because Kentucky and Tennessee are apparently the same state to me. All right, um, Jacob, I know I don't blame you. And I just want you to know how devoted I am to this pattern, to this design that I will prevail. It will not defeat me. I think I'm being a little dramatic, don't you? So that's it for my works in progress. Excuse me. Boy, did I have a good haul week. Okay. I got to show you the biggest. Oh, wait. I promised you I would show you the DMC colors, and I did it. I'm a big liar. I'm just, I'm just a liar today. These are the two colors that I'm using, and I think they're gorgeous. And I'll tell you what they are. Um, 3750 is the blue, and the yellow is 833. Okay, Paul. Oh. Hamilton is my tuxedo cat. To say I love her is an understatement. I sing to Hamilton and maybe someday y'all will be treated to a song. Not today. She's sleeping right now in my bed. But look what I got from Jen, who is also known as Jasmine Ravenclaw. That was the sound I made when it came and I opened it. What? What? You want you want to see me model it? <laughs> okay. Doesn't go with my outfit, but looky here. Now this is the everyday tote. Some people get the extra large everyday tote. I got the normal size. Average size, I don't know, but look at here. Oh, look at that gorgeousness. Look at this little kitty cat. Oh, there's an inside zipper that also has a kitty cat. And I have a little compartment here. Oh, isn't that adorable? It's like a canvassy fabric and then, um, like a vegan leather, not real leather. Sturdy, very well made. I highly recommend Jasmine. Not Jasmine, Jen. Jasmine Wright, Ravenclaw. Excuse me, Diet Coke. Oh, I love this. Oh, oh, and it goes with my nails. Oh, 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 it was meant to be. Okay. The second haul item is fabric for my Hamilton quilt. Last time I showed fabric that I got to make um, a Hamilton bag that I've decided to now make into a quilt with um, Lori Holt's quilt book. And you, no, I'm not gonna show it to you again. No, you have to go watch episode three to find out. So there, 
And this is what I ordered from Fat Quarter Shop to make other blocks to go in the quilt. I haven't really decided. It's going to be Hamilton Cat quilt block and then Hamilton fabric, the tuxedo cat fabric in between, and then this for other blocks or sashing. This is, I could probably do like a little tuxedo cat, make it the dark green and I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But that was really fast. I just ordered it and it came in like a couple days. Uh, that's number one. Speaking, speaking of Fat Quarter Shop, this was the March NPI Silk Club that I belong to. Collecting silks is one of my hobbies. They're beauty default. I'm gonna add those to my silk collection. And then I ordered some linen. Now, I mentioned Nikki Noodles, who has a floss tube, and she and I are doing the um, Feathered Whisperer Stitch Along. Well, she had a video on, um, and she talked about linen, and the color was Summer Car Keys. Don't Google Summer Car Keys. What Nikki was saying is khaki. Summer khaki. But she says it khakis. 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 I'm trying to do you, Nikki. Anyway, so. <laughs> Nikki's great. You have to go watch her if you don't already. She's awesome. This is what I got. I got a fat quarter of Zweigert 40 count summer khaki linen. Just for my stash. I don't have a project really in mind. But a gal or guy's got to stock up on their stash. Don't you know? Don't you know? There was a commercial on. Oh gosh, for out for cold medicine? They'd say, these Minnesota colds are horrible. These Chicago colds. They're horrible. I don't do accents very well, but sometimes that commercial just gets into my head and I talk like that. I don't know why. All right, my next, oh, I ordered that from Hobby House Needleworks and my next order from Hobby House Needleworks was also linen, uh, 40 count bees knees from Seraphim. I was a Seraphim fabric virgin until I got this. Everybody's talking about bees knees from Seraphim. It's the bees knees. Oh, I just opened this now in front of you all. I didn't even open this. Oh, I'm so glad I got a fat half. Oh my gosh. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. This is what I do when I cuddle Hamilton. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, Seraphim fabric is gorgeous. Oh, oh my God. I'm speechless. You guys. Oh. And they, they searched the, the edges to go with my nails. Oh, oh, that is lovely. <gasps> okay, I need you all to make recommendations. Those of you who are not Seraphim Fabric Virgins, put in the comments, what is a good chart that will go, the called for colors go with bees knees? Or else I'll have to fly to Illinois and have a consult with Brenda. That's not a threat. Well, maybe it is. I, I have no idea what to use with this, but I want it to be really special. So I want everybody to comment. Recommendations, please. More than one, because I've got a fat half. 
I got a fat half. I got a fat half. I'm not afraid to use it. You guys. Okay. Oh, I need to calm down. That was just a little too much excitement for me. I gotta go order more seraphim. <laughs> I feel really. Okay. <laughs> Next haul items gonna be charts. A lot of it needlework expo. Very exciting. Very exciting. It's the Hello from Liz Matthews show. We've all been there. Gather here. You've seen it. You love it. You're going to stitch it. This is going to be soon. This is going to be a I'm stressed out from Girl Monkey on the Toilet or I'm going to take a break from all these color changes to Isn't that adorable? Okay. That's chart number one. Oh, here's another one. Butterfly cloche. Is that beautiful? Beautiful. You've all seen these. I know I'm, I'm like the last person on floss tube to show them, but you're gonna see them. You're going to see me show them. This one is by Kathy Barrick. Isn't that adorable? Pieces of old. Calls for NPIs. Guess I'll be using some NPIs. I haven't ordered, I haven't ordered floss or threads or fabric for any of these. So I'll probably use stash fabric on them, but I'll probably get the NPIs. because I love silk. I think I'm gonna do a color change for the skin tone on that young lady because diversity and inclusion matters. Hello, representation matters. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna go online and see skin conversions and make her a nice deeper skin tone, beautiful. I think it'll be beautiful. Okay. Uh, oh, and one other um, chart that I had the last time and I forgot to show you was Floss Tube Friends. Woo! We're Floss Tube Friends. We're Floss Tube Friends. Don't you wanna be my Floss Tube Friend? The only thing is we don't, we need to put a Darcy or a Kyle or a Noah or a Bart, right? That's an idea. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe somebody can chart a guy. We can add him to our floss tube friend. That's a fun one. And this last item of haul is all EJ EJ creates her fault. She's on Sunshine Stitchers. I'm sure you all watch Sunshine Sunshine Stitchers. Suffering Shakatash. EJ, Sunshine Stitchers. I'm watching them and they show this. Blend in place. Right? Gotta have it. Garon Stitchery sells it. But not only that. There's a floss back. This was a total impulse purchase. I'll probably start it in the summer because it's Halloweeny. It's Halloweeny. Halloweeny. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. That's it for haul. I always record before I eat lunch and I am lightheaded from my sugar dropping. <laughs> 
yeah, that's it. That's why I'm acting like this. Yeah, it's my blood sugar. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's your ticket. Okay, so my plans. My plans are to continue my dedication to the modern folk embroidery, the fruit of plenty. I am going to make that my focus, one of my focuses, focus I, for the next two weeks. Um, and I'm also got to work on a Dutch sampler. I just have to keep those in my rotation. Um, but I also wanted to get back to this chart that I think, I think I can finish in April. Maybe, just maybe, you all can encourage me like you did with the cat sampler. But you could be nicer about it this time and say, please, please finish this. Please finish Mary Clayton. By Hands Across the Sea, beautiful. This is my first Hands Across the Sea chart. <laughs> A little sentimental. It's gorgeous. And I'm using the call for Soie de Jay silks, which are all in bags. This is how I keep my silks. <laughs> Not exactly neat and tidy. And I'm using um, 40 count fiber on a whim, affogato. She's not ironed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the lady who thought I was terrible for not ironing. If you come back and leave a nasty comment, I'm just going to tell you to have a nice day. But look, don't you think I can finish? I did not. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Oh my. Let me try and press it out. She's right. This is terrible. Um, but look. Okay, there, I stretched it. I can finish this in April, right? I just have to finish up the house stuff and the border. I can do it. I can. Just cheer me on. Yay, Betsy, you can do it. You can do it. I love this. I want to finish it. I do. So this is going to be a focus. And the two that I just mentioned um, for the next two weeks. Now, will I actually follow through? I don't know. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. But as we all know, you know, temptation strikes, something comes along, drags you away, and uh, you know, there goes, there goes plans. So I'm gonna do my best. And I know y'all are pulling for me. That wraps up another episode of my Floss Tube. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do appreciate all the comments. I try to reply to all of them. At least I leave a little heart because I read every single one because <laughs> it makes me feel good. Actually, since I've done come back to floss tube, I make sure I leave comments on everybody's floss tube that I watch because I know it means so much to me. I want you to know how much I enjoy watching your episodes. So on that serious note, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely next two weeks and please stay safe. Keep your distance, wear a mask, get vaccinated. See ya. Bye.